things are going very poorly in the mainstream comic book industry. Uh, their ship is sinking. The horse that they attach their wagon to, the one of social justice, of identity politics, of evil, of anti-Christianity, of anti-conservatism, has really just made it so that people aren't buying the books, people aren't paying attention to their products anymore, and they're losing money. We saw that there's a big uh, Discovery Warner uh, story out about how much money they're losing uh, after, after things, and there's rumors that there's going to be massive cuts at DC Comics. We've seen Mags Visagio uh, begging for money on GoFundMe uh, because uh, they can't afford their rent. And now it looks like we have Donny Cates having trouble in his personal life, which is speculation as to who it is, uh, but this is because of a YouTube video that was made, and you can connect one and one together to see that it looks like he's talking about Donny Cates in this situation. And we'll get to that in just a second. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author an award-winning comic creator, and I've got my book, Overmind, on Backer Kit right now. We are approaching $40,000 on this. I know it shows $33,890. This is, uh, that's only the Kickstarter numbers. But we've been just trucking along, selling more books day after day. This is a 66-page graphic novel. It's a lot of fun science fiction. If you like Flash Gordon, the old stuff, but you know, before all the woke stuff really invaded comics, you're absolutely going to love this. I've gotten tremendous feedback on the digital version so far. People have said it's their favorite crowdfund comic they've ever read. You don't want to miss it. Check it out. Grab it before I go to print here very shortly. Uh, I appreciate everybody who's supporting the channel and supporting great comics by doing so. All right, the story of the day comes from Comics Perch, who has an intervention stream here. Uh, and he did a 10-minute video lamenting uh, about how someone's in a downward spiral in their personal life, having problems, lashing out, went into rehab and failed, has been missing convention appearances on the regular, is getting late on deadlines and the like. And uh, he said, you know what, I, I really just want to fix this. And, uh, you know, it's sad. Like, Perch really uh, just cares about the comics and, like, you know, cares about everybody in the industry and all that. Doesn't doesn't realize, like, you know, the, the problem with the industry is they're hiring people uh, with major problems in their lives and not professionals like myself who just have a stable life. Uh, and that's why they can't hit deadlines like the old professionals of yore. But that's what it is. I mean, unfortunately, they've hired groups who are more about their politics, their social justice, their miserable lives, their identity politics than anything else. And uh, this is the end result. A lot of these people have dabbled with uh, the satanic arts, witchcraft, uh, of course, anti-Christianity, anti-everything good and wholesome. And when you get into those lifestyles, you end up creating problems for yourself that like transcend simple comic books. Now, there's speculation in the comments that this is about Donnie Cates, a famed Marvel writer who worked on Venom, Thor, Hulk, and others, uh, because, you know, he was actually uh, doing pretty well in late 2018. And uh, as Comicsgate was rising, a lot of Comicsgate people uh, were trying to kind of suss out what the movement was about. It wasn't full-fledged culture war, maybe at that point. Some of us were, but others weren't. And they were saying, you know what, we just, we want good comics out of the mainstream industry. Uh, we've since abandoned that because the mainstream industry just keeps pushing harder and harder uh, to the point where they're just, I don't even know what they're doing anymore. It's a disaster. But back then, people were still being like, okay, <clears throat> so here's an example. Like, we have the bad social justice leftists here, but we're not about politics here in Comicsgate. Donnie Cates has good books, and we support him. So he actually had a huge Comicsgate following that was really into his books, and because of social pressure from the industry and because he's an extreme leftist and kind of weird guy himself, um, he actually disavowed Comicsgate uh, and upset a lot of his fans. A lot of the people like, were really invested in his comics. They were saying, look, this is the good thing. This guy's not putting his politics or whatever into the books. This is what we want from you, industry. And instead of, uh, instead of saying, thank you, fans, I love everybody reading my books, he decided to take a crap on, uh, you know, of course, the conservatives, the Christians, uh, you know, everybody on our side of the aisle. It's, it's the same old story. Um, and maybe they have to do this to keep their jobs. I don't know. But when you go into that sort of a phase, uh, you start getting into these spirals where it's just about hate. It's about anger. Uh, when you hate your fans, it never does good for your career. It doesn't make any sense. It culminated in a spot where Kate's actually called in uh, to Ethan Van Skyver, who like just was talking to him on the air. And Ethan's like, dude, Donnie, you got 2,000 people here. They're comic readers. They're fans. Just say, hi, Comicsgate. It's not that hard. And Donnie refused to do it on the air because like, he can't even say hi to people who want to read his comic books. 
when you come from that position of hate, when you've got that position of just like loathing going on, <clears throat> there's obviously something bad inside going on. You've got trouble inside. Uh, and of course, that's causing trouble being lashing outward. It's kind of how it goes. So those were the signs starting back then. Of course, there's a Bounding Into Comics article about Donny Cates uh, claiming that his wife's harassed, uh, accuses CG incels and Christians of harassing him, uh, mentions they like to wear satanic imagery, satanic clothing. Look, you just don't dabble in that stuff uh, and is what it comes down to. I always try to like be like, you know what? You don't want to skirt that line. Look, it looks cool, but I'm not actually Satanist. Uh, that's not that's not something you want to go down the path of ever. Uh, it only leads to inviting foul spirits into your life. It, it invites demons into your life, and that's what happens. And when you combine that with a, like I don't know if he's a, I don't know if it's a drug use thing or or just alcoholism. If you combine that with substances, uh, it does actually cause problems for your soul at the end of the day. Um, and this is a heavy topic, and I'm sorry about this, and I, but I'm going to delve into this because it's very real. People don't like to talk about the spiritual world on YouTube. They don't like to talk about it in polite society, but that needs to change uh, because it's the truth. We have, a, we have a physical world, and we have a spiritual world, and both of them are intertwined, and it impacts our lives. It impacts the lives of people like Donny Cates. But when you go there, <clears throat> you combine that with substances, it starts, to, it starts to tear apart your life is what it does. And so, yes, maybe he's missing deadlines. Uh, that's That's been confirmed. Yes, he's missing convention appearances. That's been confirmed. Apparently, the Chris Claremont uh, C2E2 panel was because Donnie Cates was supposed to do it and uh, and didn't show. That's what I heard. It's an ugly thing, um, but that's what you get when you sell your soul uh, to these, these, uh, these sort of bad influences, which are demonic in nature, uh, for a little bit of fame, a little bit of power. That's always that's always the uh, the risk and reward. It's the temptation. It never goes well, and that's really my message to everybody here. Uh, it's sad. I, I don't wish harm on Donny Cates. I don't wish harm on his wife or anything like that. I, I want him to get better. Uh, we should be praying for him. Uh, we want him uh, to, uh, of course, uh, renounce evil and get into a good state in life. But this is, applies to everybody. Um, here's the deal: like you can't be spiritually healthy without accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, without uh, accepting that he died on the cross for our sins, that we're fall fallible individuals, that there are spiritual influences out there. Because when you invite the Spirit into you, the Holy Spirit, you have a shield against all of this around you. Uh, they can't touch you because uh, you are covered. And that's exactly what's important about uh, the faith, about Christianity, and uh, and why like it just— provides for a better life uh, in general than not. Look, fame and fortune are out there. They don't mean anything at the end of the day. Nobody's going to care about any of us uh, in two, three hundred years uh, after we're dead. Uh, but we can enter the kingdom of heaven and have eternal life at that point. And so don't ever take the ticket. Uh, watch out for yourselves. Uh, be careful with temptation. Pray that God won't lead you into temptation. And, uh, you know, this, is, this serves as a warning sign for everybody at this point. So, uh, again, like, this isn't an uh, anti Donny Cates video or anything like that. He's made his choices. Uh, he's an adult. I hope he comes to the right side, and I hope uh, he comes out on the other side a better person. That's all, what, all we want and all that matters at the end of the day. And uh, that's what Comics Gate's about, is bettering ourselves, bettering the industry, creating something new, fresh, and ideal uh, out of the ashes of this evil corporate structure that has pervaded for a long, long time. All right. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for listening to me and hearing this out. This is an important message. This is one that, like, you know, I, I do a lot of fun messages where I, you know, we're laughing, we're, we're enjoying things together. Uh, but, but something like this, the love of Christ and accepting that into your life is far more important than any of the other stuff out there. It really is, guys. And uh, I hope you'll take that journey. Just look into it. Look into it. See if it's right for you. Uh, I'd love for you to join us if you haven't already. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you soon.